Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, so, in a previous episode, I already demonstrated that it was possible to sulfurize canola oil just by heating it up and adding some sulfur. Uh, today, as I continue this series of experiments with uh, alternative homemade cutting fluids and other machining compounds, I'm curious to see what would happen if we saponified sulfurized canola oil, or whether it's even possible. Now, I'm sure there are plenty of videos on YouTube about soap making, uh, you know, so I'm not going to rehash the process of making soap from canola oil, but what I am going to do is try it with this sulfurized canola oil and see if it works and see what the end product is like, if it works at all. Um, so I have here my sulfurized canola oil. Uh, to that, I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide, which I'm going to mix with a little bit of water to make a concentrated sodium hydroxide solution. And then we'll just heat that mixture and stir it up until it saponifies or doesn't. Let's see what happens. Well, when we got up to around 130 degrees Fahrenheit, I lost the visible distinction between the aqueous sodium hydroxide solution and the oil, uh, which is consistent for typical soap making temperatures. And then as I continued to heat the solution up above 200 degrees Fahrenheit, it started bubbling, which I presume is just water boiling off. And the bubbling created this frothy head that uh, looks very reminiscent of soap. So it looks to me like our experiment was successful. Uh, I'll pour it off and let it solidify fully and then we'll take a better look at it later. Okay, so now I have poured off our saponified sulfurized canola oil into a smaller beaker and let it fully cool to room temperature. And here for reference, is some of the same batch of sulfurized canola oil that I made this out of, or that I started with in performing the saponification reaction. Um, as you can see, this obviously is a liquid at room temperature. This is a solid at room temperature, although it's not a hard solid, it's sort of a paste. You know, it's, I can mold it and squish it and rub it between my fingers and you know it feels slippery it feels soapy uh, it actually feels a little bit sticky too you know kind of like grease or or sort of you know maybe halfway between soap and grease in its consistency um, so it will be interesting to see how this performs as a lubricant for metal cutting applications uh, that I think will be the next step in the process to try this out uh, and compare it to other more conventional cutting fluids, but I think we'll save that for our next episode. So until then, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.